And poof. Disappearing cobble. Hey all, Chaos Junk here, and this is a video that was requested by somebody in my Twitch channel. Uh, that's Chaos Chunk um, at Twitch TV Chaos Chunk. And uh, the request was, is how do I hook up my Ender Pouch or my Ender Chest to my ME system? All right. So the way that I do it is this way. And, you know, there's probably a million ways you can do it, but this is the way that I do it. So what I have here is I have an Ender Chest. And um, one of the things I want to show you about an Ender Chest right away is the fact that on a single player server, it doesn't matter, but on a multiplayer server, you're going to want to privatize your ender chest. And you do that by using a diamond and right clicking on the clasp right there. And it changes it to a diamond color, which means that that chest is now privatized to you. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pouch and I'm going to now, after I've privatized the chest, I'm going to match my pouch to my chest. I do that by shift right clicking. And now the, now this pouch is privatized to this chest. What we have here is an import bus. And if you don't know the way that ME systems work, the buses are according to the ME system. You're either importing into the ME, ME system or you're exporting out of the ME system. And a lot of people get that mixed up, meaning that they want to export into. No, you're going to export out and import into the ME system. So we have a simple uh, ME import bus here, hooked it up with a cable, and I actually probably could have put it right next to it here, into a simple everyday ME system with the terminal here. So you can see we have nothing in the terminal. I'm now going to step back. I'm going to go ahead and pop my seared bricks into here, and I'm going to go ahead and pop, say, my uh, my um, iron ore in here, and so on and so forth. That will now automatically be sucked out of this chest. As you can see, it's completely being sucked out of the chest because we put it into this pouch right here. It's now in the chest right here, and now we can open this, and we can see that we have seared bricks being taken to the chest. Now, there is a way to speed this process up, and you do that with uh, upgrade cards. And see if I can, I think card is the easiest way that I search for them, C-A-R-D. And you're going to want to look for these guys right here. And we can pop those right into here and here, and you'll notice that now it will go much faster. So I can put a stack in here, it does a stack, half a stack at a time, and you'll notice that they're now in here. So again... This is an ender chest matched with my ender pouch with an import bus cooked to an ME system that is automatically taking stuff out. Where this, where this is great is I always have my quarries exporting straight into an ender chest and then the ender chest hooked up like this directly into my ME system. But also in, when you're out mining and stuff, it's nice to have an ender pouch that's dedicated to dumping stuff into your ME system. And it's great for when you're out in the twilight forest and exploring around, you can just dump all your stuff into there and it automatically goes into your ME system and it's automatically saved. So that, my friends, is how you hook up your ender chest or your ender pouch to your ME system to help automate your existence. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day and we out.